We've got Wi-Fi, we've got XB, we've got uh, software written in C++, we've got software written in C Sharp, we've got software written for the firmware in C, and somehow all this stuff manages to, uh, to work together, and it's, uh, I'm as surprised as anybody, actually. <laughs> My name is Eric Gradman. I'm Mad Inventor and co-founder of 2-Bit Circus. We're in Los Angeles and we are bringing the Steam Carnival to your town. Personally, my background is in robotics and the thing I love about robotics is it lets you work in electrical engineering, computer science, mechanical engineering. If you're having a trouble with one, you can switch to another discipline and solve it over there. And, you know, working on a budget, you discover that, you know, you can make anything you want with the commonly available materials. You can just buy this stuff online and start tinkering. The Steam Carnival is our reimagining of the carnival. We're wiping the slate clean and coming out with a slate of games that are completely reimagined with robots and lasers and fire and high voltage electricity. And all these games are designed to inspire, in some way, kids to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, art, and math. This is our video game drone program. Technically, I could be driving her around from all the way across the world. Oh, yes! Success! What we found is when kids encounter our games, they have a great time. Actually, as it turns out, adults have a great time, too. Everybody has a good time with our games. And especially with kids, there's all sorts of opportunities to enlighten them as to how high technology works. We brought five games here to IDF. We brought RC Humans, Remote Control Humans, that's where we are right now. We also brought the six-player game table. We brought the inaptly named Tone Tower, which is actually a whole bunch of tablets playable in the round. We brought the steerable mini golf game. And we brought our favorite game, the button wall, the two-player button wall game. Our games are a good mix of things we've gotten off the shelf, uh, software, hardware, robots, and stuff we develop in-house on our own. So we do a lot of custom software development, we do a lot of custom electronics and firmware development, and a lot of the stuff that we've brought here has both that off-the-shelf and built-by-hand feel to it. Our philosophy to building games is to prototype stuff quickly, test it quickly, and let it fail fast. Now, our button wall, we're on the fifth version of our button wall. We haven't made more than one or two versions of each on the way. Each time we install it, each time we rebuild it, we learn something new about the best way to play it and the best way to manufacture it, because we are trying to build these things to last and to be built in bulk. This summer we had the idea to mount a Kickstarter campaign to raise money for the Steam Carnival, which is going to be happening next year. We raised over $100,000 selling tickets to an event whose date had not yet been determined. What we discovered is that everyone is excited for the idea of the Steam Carnival. People reached out to us from all over the world. They want the Steam Carnival to come to their town. I think people realize that we need to inspire the next generation of engineers with science, technology, engineering, art, and math. There are them? too few people doing <laughs> cool stuff and inspiring kids in a fun way. This stuff, this stuff is fun, and it gets kids excited. We picked the carnival because, well, I'm an old circus performer, so this appeals to me at a very deep personal level. And I don't know, it's, it's something that it, the, the carnival is ripe for reimagining. We're building 40 new games, and we're really starting to assemble the circus, the carnival, in earnest. The carnival is coming to your town. It's coming to San Francisco in June, it's starting in Los Angeles. Before the carnival comes to town, we're going to come to your town with educational curriculum materials, with mentors who want to help you build your own projects to showcase at the Steam Carnival, so that when the carnival really comes to town, you'll have something to show off for everybody.